lads, you know, second half, 45 minutes to go, last game of the season, just go for it, you know, play your heart and soul out, and fingers crossed get the three points. Come on Kilmore, today is a crunch match between Kilmore Rec and Ballinhitch Olympic at the Robert Adams Park, and Kilmore need to win to, to save themselves from relegation. I thought to myself, right, when I think of a Kilmore fan, I think of Mr Kilmore, there's only one person that I can think of. Hello. Hello Philly, where are you? Uh, just around here. This is Philly Strain here. Kilmore Rec number one fan. Nowhere better to meet him than the Kilmore Rec pub. That's where you think of Kilmore Rec, you think of the corner in. So we're in here, and Philly, this is your your routine, isn't it? Aye, uh, pretty much warm up. Final game of the season, playing Ball and Hinch Olympic. Uh, big game for them, we're fighting relegation. Um, Ball and Hinch have just won the league there on Thursday night. They're unbeaten we're all season, so it's going to be a tough right. game. But uh, It's going to be touch and go whether we survive, but hopefully a good performance today. Three points and uh, hopefully we'll come in here after for a few celebratory drinks. A few. What time do you usually head over there? Uh, normally about quarter two, let's be honest. Or can you say it? Can you even say it? Predictions, heart rolls ahead, you know, so uh, I'm going to have to go for a narrow 2-1 victory for Kilmore and you know, hopefully all our results go our way and uh, are, we're safe for the season. Is that, a, is that us ready then? The head That's off? us ready to go, pink finished. Downed it in record time. <laughs> <laughs> This is what I was going to ask you, like, why are you here every match? Why do you love Kilmore, you know? Just living cross car all my life, always an interest in football. Uh, um, win, lose or draw, I'll still support them. Right, so this is the big walk up then? Right, where are we now? This is the just, square? Just in the square, yeah. Robert, Robert Adams Park's just up here, just behind the War Memorial. Fransky, if you're watching this, and you will be watching this, will you be here today? Oh, he'll be here. All right. Like yeah. We'll get Bronsky on screen. I want to do... History of Cross Gar, according to Bronsky. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be entertaining. I want to see where everybody used to get blocked. Hey, what do you think the score is going to be today? 7 0. Camor? Yeah. Do you, do you come play on? for Camor, do you? I don't hear them. Yeah, so we're walking up here's the War Memorial. Here. And has the nerves hit you yet, fully, have they? Well, I suppose they have a wee bit. Game begin. Yeah, hey for two just. What do you think the score's gonna to be today then? Oh you're bound to Olympic, that's it. <laughs> I'm not asking. <laughs> We're pitch side here, probably what do you think? Ah uh, well, couldn't pick a better day for it. If there's anybody you don't get on with just say, right? <laughs> There's the one, there's Sarah. This is uh, the most important moment here. Uh, here. Wait, 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 yeah, I've already been on his films. She's already been on my films. She's made me a neat actress here. Like, you know. So <laughs> tell us who you are and what do you do here? Anthony Medang. I found here and here in the shop every week the match is told and raise a bit of money for the club. Right, what do you think the score is going to be today? As long as it wins, I don't mind if it's only one nil. If they win. And I think, who's your favourite player? Jack Larkin. Oh, Jack Larkin, the captain. Yeah. Right, right now, is John Young giving like a gladiator esque team talk? I just yeah, he'll be, he'll be getting the boys teed up for it, you know, as he always does. My name is Maximus John Youngius. He'll be putting, uh, putting the last instructions into the team, you know, keep it disciplined, uh, which is one of the things he likes, you know, two bags of four, and get, the, get the team set up right and hard to beat. So, that's where we're here. The uh, joint managers, Gary Candy, Paul Mung, after the 2009 Christmas Day final against uh, Dean Patrick, beat them 2-0. On up here, with the, the legend of music, Red Rod Stewart, uh, with a Stephen Sons Cup. I think he's a big Kilmore fan now. Right, It's a massive match, isn't it? Really, isn't it? It's a big match, right? Yeah. Taking us over the line. The match is about to start here. The fan zone is out the club, is it? <laughs> no, he's just christened at the fan zone. Just me. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, Kilmore. 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 Come
No way, right stand over here, sure. Stand up, how you feeling, man? How you feeling, man? Not too bad. Where were you earlier on? What do you mean? This morning. Ballon Hinch. Oh, what was happening in Ballon Hinch? We had our under 17s were in a massive cup final against Celtic boys and we won 2 1. I was free as well. I, I was in the Ballon You're the man, you're, you're meant to be in the know here, so you're meant to be in the know. You're like Phoenix Gas, you're meant to be everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> He's what doing the gags now. What are we filming today? This is a fan experience, and uh, I've seen him walking down the street. And when I think of Kilmore, I think of Lexa Philly, I think of yourself. Yeah. What do you think, Ken? Do you think it? Do you think it's? It's uh, give me give me uh, prediction, Nick. I fancy Kilmore because we've more to play for the boys. Bound has not been phenomenal all season, but you know. It's uh, make or break time for Kilmore today and a full faith that the, the boys will do it. Well, usually for these games here, um, I normally have my youth football in the morning. Afterwards, I go straight to McCarthy's. Me and the man here, Shane, manages with me. We go to McCarthy's, we get our feed for the day, set ourselves up, um, usually come up here or we we'll go to the away matches. And win, lose or draw, we usually, yeah, go for a pint after the game. Great start. Huh? How do you think it's going then? Oh, come more well. Keep them up like it's hard to beat this ball hands team like. Oh Jesus Christ, that was What do you think I'm at so far then? It's good. Yeah. The Olympics just going one up there. Yeah. Not getting no interview of me now. <laughs> Uh, one each, uh, I said before the game, Jack Larkin's one of her best players. Captain of the club, just made it one each there. What's your... Well, it's been a tight enough game, you know. It's uh, two one down, but still in it, though. Still in it, yeah. yeah, definitely still in it, man. Billy's going to do a team talk. What what he would do if he needed the uh, if he was in charge of the team? What would what would you do? Match, you know, second half, forty five minutes to go, last game of the season. Just go for it. You know, play your heart and soul out, and finger cross, get the three points. Come on, Kilmore. I'm going to Um. I don't know, hard match, 2-1 down at the minute, half time. You have 45 minutes to more or less see it, make or break your season. So you'll be speaking to each and every one, every player individually, going around, telling them what to do, what you expect them, how they're going to have to up their game, you know, explaining that it's 11 v 11 out there, it's, a, it's, it's you against your marker. If you're happy enough to beat second best against your marker, they'll substitute you. So you lay the laws down fast to the boys, you tell them what's expected. You need 11 leaders out there now in the second half. You don't just need one captain out there, you need 11 captains out there now. Yeah, so we're here second half. Follow you then. Oh, well, just keep believing, keep the faith and hopefully get a wee chance here and get an equaliser. Again. 15 20 minutes left, 3 2 down. We fought back well in the last once we scored twice, so played some good wee bits of football there. No, not these type of matches, though. No? What sort of, what sort of song is it? <laughs> <laughs> is there any, like, is there any, like, songs? 
Uh, Camorzons, yes. Is there any? Like, yeah, but they're not. Oh, it was a Border Cup final, wasn't it? Border Cup final. This man here, he's the leader of the Kilmore Crazies. Stanton, with minus two, boxing morning, top off. Yes! Three point against the league champions, those isn't, isn't too bad, like, but uh, hopefully it'll be enough. But have to rely on all the results going our way, so just have to see, wait and see what happens. Here with John Young, the manager at Kilmore at FC. I watched this man go up from a great wee footballer to a great manager. So, how three, three, three with the, the league champions? Um, yeah, well. A bit lost for Woods there, it was an up and down game like, but um, we gifted them a couple of goals and Jack Larkin pulled us out of a hole. A hat trick from the captain is it? hat trick from the captain and the leader and he sort of delivered there so um, the, maybe the Balakin at half time helped them. Yes because we were we were saying we have, I was like right you're John in the changing room and he was giving this big rousing speech out in the, the dugout what you'd be saying in there so it must have worked man. Well, I challenged a few and we got a reaction, uh, but it wasn't perfect and it wasn't pretty, but the result at the end of the day would uh, be what mattered and we got a draw against the, the champions, so and it might be a point that keeps us up. And is this your first job management, is it? First job, possibly the last. <laughs> it's it's hard work. And did, as, when you were younger, did you realise like how much hard work would go into this? Because you have a family and all and the business and all, and it's, um, people yeah. would see that side of it. Yeah, well, I would probably concentrate more on the football end of things than the family and uh, the business, and that's genuine. I really tried hard at it, and hopefully it's enough to keep us up. Brilliant, man. Here, well, good luck, and, and I'll look out for the scores and all here. Cheers, John. Cheers. Thank you. Imagine. Thank you. Game begin. Is where is the analysis so it, it, it keeps us in the mix, you know. I mean, that was our last game, so it comes down now to the teams uh, below us and uh, what, what they what they can do. I know Newcastle was beat today and uh, oh, four 0 beat four 0 Yeah, it's always good to come back to Corin after the match. All the players come back, most of the supporters just for a few post-match refreshments. And, have a wee yarn about the, the result and who played well, who doesn't. What is like 10 seconds to sum up, 10 seconds to sum up what it's like. Emotional. emotional. Why is it yeah. emotional? Just you go through the emotions. I haven't been doing so well in the last few years. Yeah. Not not a heavy be a girl. Uh, but the ones that keep me going back. Here, cheers! Thank you very much. Well, no that's been a great day. Thank you for your yeah. time and, and effort. Now, and uh, I'll be here again and get the crack and all. And, uh, more matches now. It's funny, it's just took me the end of the season to come down and see, but uh, I'll be here next season. I need to be. I'll be keeping an eye out now for all the, the fixtures and stuff, and whether fixtures in your favour and stuff. Yeah. Well, thank you, man. Here. Hopefully, we'll be in one eye next season as well. Again, got a few of these in the now. Hopefully, hopefully, do uh, still. Come on, Kilmore. Kowalski, thank you so much for your time. Not a bother, mate. Yes. Pleasure, as always. Yes. I'll give you a shout at that cup final as well. Anything? Give me a shout, because if, if I'm free, I'll come down. For